hello viewers on youtube in our video today we are converting this motor the one we rewind it in our previous video so this motor is coming from this so most of you maybe you know this this is a circular saw okay it's a circular saw all right so just wanted to show you this where this is coming from okay so let's put this aside all right so today we are converting it into a generator let's see how much voltage we can get from this the wire is 0 0.5 so i believe that we can be able to power something but to prove that let's convert it together and see the results all right and we're going to use this uh, type of magnet neodymium magnet right so as i always say when the wires they are thick like these ones and you can see this side i even double them so the only thing you need is two poles so i made this it has two poles only this side is n and this side is s so we're gonna push this at the middle of here all right and spin it and see how much voltage we can get and if we can be able to power something all right so i'm gonna take a few minutes to arrange this put it right here so here's how is it going to be this is gonna be here gonna sit there all right just want to show you how is it going to be like this is how is it going to be like all right so i'm going to pause the video now and arrange all of this then we'll start from there all right it is done even though it is touching somewhere but it's good all right here is 250 volts ac just to repeat this winding it has 120 turns and this side too it has 120 turns all right so here okay let's put it here on 200 it is hard so that's what we get about 1.2 1.3 something like that all right now let's check another side Ooh. let's bring it here first We have two wires here so we have to connect them in series but before we do that let's see in one how many voltage we can get before we connect them in series all right then 200 volts okay this one too we're making 0.6 so that means another one too it has 0 0.6 so we're gonna do this connect it in series all right right there then see that which is matching to the same output of this side so when we connect these in series let's take this one and this now we're joining this winding and this winding we should get yeah two and something to three going upwards right now i'm going to try to use to use the rope and see how much voltage is going to come out from there 
Uh, okay, let's do this. Okay, the first test. But 20 now we can move it to 250 volts uh, I hope there you can see the numbers now it's on 250 volts let's see ready That's 26 volts all right so because we're getting 26 volts we're gonna upgrade that voltage with a transformer but now this is 12 volts so we cannot use this one because we're getting 26 volts so we're going to use this toroidal transformer all right to upgrade the voltage output because we're upgrading it because we're not using the motor but if we can use this 775 DC motor to spin it here. We're going to do it, but not in this video. Uh, all right, in the next video, that's where we're going to do that. For now, I'm gonna just show you. All right, so let's, because if we're getting 26 volts with a rope rotation, so when we're using, the motor for sure we're going to make it to 220 volts all right now uh, so for that this has to be here
okay all right now i'm adding this let's see if we can be able to power it 55 watts uh, it's on All right, now we have three stuff attached or connected to this. And we have this 30, 9, and 55 watts. Now, when that starts moving, uh, I mean, when you start receiving power, it's going to move or vibrate. So, let's see if we can make it from this generator I hope that's enough I'm holding here because the bearings you know just to protect them oh okay I hope you see that I'm gonna do it again all right ready Nothing else here. So the wires coming out from here to this transformer. Okay, then transformer is upgrading 26 volts here to this side. Okay, ready? Uh, did this one come on? I'm not sure. Let's do it again one more time. Okay, let's put more, more, right, ready, okay, no, just a little bit, okay, let's try now 100 watts light bulb, all right, now I disconnected all of those, now I have this 100 watts light bulb, uh, I hope the connection is fine. Well, anyway, let's see. Hmm. Let's do this. Okay, this one is 100, so we need a CS pool. Okay, all right. Hope you're gonna see right there. Oof, don't choke me. Ready? Oh, okay. Okay, it's happening. Okay, so 9, 30, 39, 55, that's 89, mm, but 90 something. Why this one was not on? Mm, maybe there was some connection error somewhere. But anyway, here you can see how this 100 watts is coming on. It shows that the power is very strong. Okay, one more time. No other connections here. Oh, right there. See that? Okay, ready? See that? All right. For now, if you can allow me, let me stop there until. Yeah, it's even soft. That means, what if I can bring another. Hundred. All right. You know what? Let's do that in the next video. But for now, if you can allow me, allow me to stop right here. All right. Thanks for watching.